Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading. You haven't had one in a minute. I just realized I haven't done Gemini in a while. So we're playing catch up. A catch up. All right. So breaking this down, we have March the 30th, 2020, which adds up to 10. So this is your karma for today. So Gemini 3 represents you in the reading. So when 3 pops up, and I know that kind of looks like a 5, but it's a three so let's do three where it's clear okay mercury is your planet this is representing your emotions it's one in five it's the beginning of change beginning of change of your emotions because one plus five is six six is emotions or love your element is air air represents your thoughts your mind your thoughts so gemini is all about the mind and the thoughts Okay, so when we see two and five, that represents your thoughts, and that breaks down to a seven, which is your personal growth, okay? Adding all these numbers up is five and three. Change, okay, creative change happening. That breaks down to an eight. Manifesting creative change right now in your world, okay? So that's what's happening. All right, Gemini. So Gemini, you are a very interesting character because you're very two sides of the coin. So with your readings, they can be a little bit hard because you're literally like two different people. But you know this. You know this about yourself. So there's our numbers. Now, also to let anybody know, if at any point in time anyone would like a free reading, 100% free, $100 value, they're over an hour, okay? Make sure you set aside an hour of time uninterrupted. Charge your cell phones. Have an app on your phone to do a video chat, okay? And then all you have to do is call this number when you want a free reading. And I'll either do it at that time or we'll set up another time. Um, trying to do this through comments is just not working out quite well because I'm not getting notifications of these comments and they're getting a little bit lost. And I respond to them and say I'm available for readings, but no one's like, you guys are saying you want a reading. And then I'm like, okay, let's do a reading, but I don't know where the confusion's coming in. Um, international calls. You guys, internationally, I'm so sorry, but it's very difficult. I cannot absorb international call cost for returning text, returning messages. It's, it's quite hard to do international calls. You're just going to have to call me directly, and we'll figure it out from there. So call this number for your free read. It's 100% free. Also, if you want to see what other people are writing their reviews on their readings, read the comments under the videos. Because um, I'm going to ask you to do the same thing. Um, after your reading, I'm going to ask you to go and do a review on your reading so that other people can read your review. So go read their review and find out if you want one. Okay, moving on. Let's get going. Let's get started. I'm excited. I'm feeling better. I was in the hospital because I've been so sick, and I'm feeling much better. I had breathing treatments and steroid treatments and antibiotics and IV fluids and... Um, uh, all kinds of stuff so I'm finally starting to come back to life back to life back to reality yeah that's why I don't sing for a living now you know why now you know why I do tarot <laughs> singing is not in my ha <laughs> ha cards sorry about that see I'm feeling better in my Ridiculous, stupid sense of humor. It's coming back. Okay. Here we go, Gemini. Crazy, crazy Geminis. All right. 13. Effort. Effort coming through. Change in love. Change in love. Oh, and there's seven. There's that personal growth. There's that emotion and that personal growth. Okay. Eight. Manifestation. That's your number for today is eight. There's your five coming in again, five and then seven, that personal growth again. And um, that breaks down to 12, which breaks down to three, going back to the separate. All right, so there's our baseline. One, two, three, four, five, change. Okay, so we got a lot of change happening. Putting in the effort, relationship change requires personal growth, manifesting, teaching, and learning, okay? So, bring in our cards I'm going to be using my dark mansion because I'm obsessed and love them and um, I'm going to switch these up soon but for right now 
I'm just going to keep it simple for me because these cards just really um, are just so easy for me to communicate. Some of the other cards that I'm not super tight familiar with it takes me a lot more work to interpret. So these are just kind of turning into my like second language cards. Wow. Not a whole lot of cards coming out here. Interesting. Okay, we're going to save this to refer back to in a little bit. All right. Oh, well, there's manifestation right there. The magician. Manifestation. Seven of swords. Someone's being sneaky. Sneaky sneaks. The Knight of Wands, taking action, taking action. Queen of Cups. Okay. Well, now as you can see here, right, first thing you'll notice is an empty slot, okay? empty slot so that means one of two things it either means that one of these cards is in the wrong position and needs to be moved around or that this is your complete message or we need to pull from the deck okay that's actually three things but we won't be technical so in this case effort needing effort taking action is effort action is effort relationship change a change in emotion we have the queen of cups the queen of emotion Personal growth, seven, seven of swords, someone being sneaky and underhanded. Okay, personal growth, need to grow from that and move away from that. Um, grow up a little bit. Um, manifestation, magician, having everything we need to manifest what it is we need in life. That is a perfect matchup. Teaching and learning, teaching and learning. Hmm, what are we missing here? So if we look at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. That's Leo energy right there. Um, Queen of Wands. We have fire, which is action, and the sun. And obviously fire and sun, that goes with Leo. So with Leo, Leos are very strong. They're dominant and, and feminine at the same time. Um, Leos are really good about teaching and learning. Leos love knowledge. So I think that's bringing in that energy there um, for sure. Okay, so if we were to continue on with this, let's see if any of these other cards come into play. Um, not sure about this because Gemini here's the thing about you it's like like I said you know you're you're it's like two different things so if I were to bring this into play we've got left out in the cold okay left out in the cold when it comes to your personal growth you're kind of like at a standstill Okay, if we were to bring this into play, now I'm not sure if this fits in or not, but if, if it does, okay, they're completely two different things here. With effort, we're needing to take the lead, take control, a change um, between the two, okay? Two, but see, Gemini, you're kind of two. You're one of two. So change for Gemini. Needing to take control of the situation. With this relationship change, you're feeling left out in the cold. Okay, with personal growth, you're kind of it, uh, your karma needs to change in communication, collaboration, and creativity. Because right now, you're kind of like in a death spiral sort of thing. It's not, it's not really going so great. Um, 
Under manifestation, this eight, this eight of swords, feeling self in prison, not really wanting to see what's going on, not want, really wanting to accept that you can fix this problem. Then under teaching and learning, we have the six of cups. Six of cups is a second chance, sharing in the moment, re reminiscing, remembering. Okay, so um, with the teaching and the learning part, um, <clears throat> you have to... When you're talking, you're telling people what you know. When you're listening, you're learning what they know. Gemini, you don't listen. You know this about yourself. You're not a listener. You're a talker, okay? So you have to take a minute to absorb things and pay attention to things and listen and learn, okay? That's an important thing. So... We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. So 10 representing today, your karma for today. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, change. What needs to change today? What needs to change today, Gemini? So that's what's going on. That's what needs to happen. You need to put in more effort. This relationship, um, a change in love, a change in emotion. So you need to change this situation. This being left out in the cold or leaving someone out in the cold, that needs to change. Personal growth, sneakiness, okay? This kind of like a ghosting situation, it's not, it's not good. Manifesting, leaving this feeling of entrapment or self-imprisonment, seeing what really, you know, what's really going on. And then with this, you have to be um, accepting to teach and to listen as well as talk, okay? And remembering, you know, taking time to stop and remember and, again, listen and focus in. That's an important aspect on this, okay? So now if we were to bring in Oracle on this... And get the other perspective here. Oh, three more cards. Should be one here. Okay. <clears throat> Be at peace. Be at peace. Two and one. Patience for the individual. Okay? Bringing in that three. Gemini, that represents you. The three. So it's saying, Gemini, you need to be more at peace. More at peace. Five and one. Well, Mercury is one and five. Okay? So this is saying change for the individual. Be playful. It's saying, Gemini, you need to be more playful. A little less serious. A little more playful. And then 10, again, this is what your karma is for today, Gemini. That's what 10 is. The abundant universe will provide, okay? The abundant universe will provide. And then we have three, three representing you. So this is a message specifically for you, Gemini, okay? So now if we bring in our dice, two, two representing two. That's Gemini, the two, the twins. So referring back to you, Gemini, the two. So, um, yeah. That's pretty pretty straightforward, pretty darn clear. Now, if I were to, um, instead of doing my gems, I'm actually going to bring in my witch's runes. We're going to throw those out. and see what these have to say. So we have sun. Now that's going over here. Oops, see where'd she go? There we go. Sun with this Leo spirit over here. We have the sun, okay? We have waves coming in. We have seen beyond the veil right there, needing to see. What do we need to see? And here we have spirit, spirit coming in. Peace. And then we have waves. So let's go to our meanings. I haven't done a video in a while. Okay. Okay. And with that, we have, for instance, we have the sun, which is this one right here. We have the sun. Beginning of something new, okay? Beginning of something new. 
listening. That's new, okay? Here we have waves, the waves. Movements, communications, and information. That's right here, these moments, okay? These moments. Uh, communications and information, this three, this effort, putting in that effort, okay? And then here we have um, lifting the veil, seeing beyond. So you need to start seeing what you don't want to see. And this one is spirit, being moved, um, deep connection to the spiritual world, needing to be at peace. So spirit, and you have this karma, okay, with spirits letting you know the universal, um, the universe will provide and to be at peace. So that's definitely coming through as your message for today. So, yeah, okay, Gemini. Um, needing to change effort, needing to put in the effort. The effort that you put in needs to change. It needs to become more substantial. You need to listen. Change by listening. Okay, stop talking and start hearing. And that'll bring you peace. That'll bring you um, everything that you need is really to stop talking and start listening for sure. Now we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have 18 total, but there's your 13 representing effort, and then 18 total, the beginning of manifestation, okay? Beginning of manifestation, then one and eight is nine, which is complete. So that completes your message, okay? So there you have it, Gemini. Gemini, if you would like a personal reading, um, just go ahead and, again, all you have to do is call this number and get your free reading. And um, in order to get a free reading, you just have to like and subscribe to this channel. Okay? All right. Well, thank you for popping in, Gemini. Sorry it took me so long to get around to you. Have a great day. Bye.